G'day guys, in the uh, little tiny man cave of a shed I've got here. Uh, I don't know if I've ever shot a video in here before, yeah, probably maybe one or two where I was doing a bit of work, but uh, never showed you uh, the junk I've got in here. Whether I'll do that this morning, who knows? Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyway, on with the story. Uh, we have a little project to do this morning. I've got a kayak, as some of you will know and uh, for a long time we've had a dinghy and what I want to do is convert the boat trailer uh, it's the mangrove jack collapsible trailer or folding trailer I don't know which way is the best to describe it uh, and I want to convert that so that not only takes the dinghy it will also carry the kayak because well, a couple of weeks ago now we tried to be, get the kayak up on the 4x4 and it's possible but oh, it's a hell of a job and unless we're actually going to go away for a couple of weeks or something, it's really difficult to throw it up there, get it down, do that, you know, a couple of times to just go down to the local beach here. So I thought the easiest thing to do was find some method of moving the kayak so you don't have to lift it up high. So I had a look around. There were all sorts of different kayak trailers available. Some of them are damned expensive and uh, had a look on the manufacturer of our little folding boat trailer, his website, uh, Mangrove Jack Marine. Gavin down there is an awesome guy. We've known him for years and uh, we bought this trailer for him. I, I can't even remember how long we've had it now, but it's never had a problem at all. It's brilliant. You don't need any tools to put it together. It's road legal. Uh, very, very strong anodized aluminium and uh, I can't speak highly enough of the trailer so what I want to do is convert that into something that will carry the kayak and I spotted that he had a kit available uh, so that it can easily be done uh, you just change a couple of the attachments you could actually drill out the originals I don't want to do that so I want to keep the original parts all as they are and I want to have a separate little kit uh, to use for the kayak so I can just plug those parts on when I want to use the kayak so that's what we're going to have a look at this morning. Uh, I've got the wheels and I've just been up to see Gavin to uh, pick up the other bits and pieces we need. So uh, I'll take you outside now and uh, just show you exactly what it is I'm trying to get done. So this is the kayak which has seen remarkably little use since I've had it. Mostly because we really haven't been able to transport it easily and I hope that's going to change the situation. What we've got here is the kit. Now, not all of this comes from Gavin. The main parts here, the little plug for the roller at the back, central roller holder, that all comes from Mangrove Jack, as do the light board holders here. The excuse that horrible noise, that's a train going past, and it sounds like an aircraft landing. Uh, these parts are the axles, I've got to cut those to size, that came from Bunnings, as did these. Now the wheels are not ideal, of course you would like to have poly wheels, uh, and I thought about that but I think we're not going to have this go in the water, the kayak's going to come off and then get wheeled down to the water, so they're never going to be exposed to salt water really, and uh, we'll clean it all up and take them off when we finished using them so that is another Bunnings item so what is going to happen here the axle goes through the holes here and uh, we get a couple of wheels on each side and then you roll the kayak up the trailer at the moment has got the boat on it so I have to take that off this is not our usual trailer the usual trailer and uh, the usual trailer you can see over there, that needs its bearings done at the moment and I've been a bit slack. Uh, that's been a project that's I've been on the back burner for a couple of months now. So in the interim I've been using the Mangrove Jack trailer to move the dinghy around. And it's brilliant at doing that anyway. But we want to convert that now so we've got a little kayak kit. So I'll have to take off the boat and... Uh, We'll start some work on getting this project done. Uh, 
Okay, so you can see the rear roller here. That's going to be replaced by the other plug-in, which will have the pneumatic wheels on. Then we're going to have to work out how far up we want the other roller. I'll have to have a look at that uh, once I've got the wheels put together. And uh, that'll be the main modification. These sliders will come out here and they will be replaced by the light bar holder bars. So not a lot of work to do. Hopefully it all goes smoothly. Kevin suggested I use an axle 430 mils long, so we're going to give that a go, see if that's uh, right for our kayak. I can always reduce it a bit if I need to. I don't think I'll need to reduce it, but we'll see how it goes. We've got two pieces that come out of this. One is exactly 430, the other one is slightly longer. But the one that's slightly longer is the one with holes pre-drilled in both ends. So I'm going to try that one out first. If that turns out to be not right, then I'll have to drill a hole in the end of this one and uh, just use the 430. But I think probably 30 mils won't make a lot of difference either way, but we'll see how it goes. Next job is the long one, which is uh, filing down those rough edges. Okay, so the pre-existing holes in these are not quite big enough for the clips. So I'm just going to have to drill those out a little bit more so we can get those clips through. spacer in here too, that'll just be a bit of poly pipe. But uh, before I cut all that up, I want to put these on the trailer and see how it all goes and see what kind of width we're getting. Now this is the plug for the end of the trailer. See, the wheels themselves do have spaces there, but uh, they obviously need to come out more than that. That probably won't be wide enough for the kayak, so it's likely that I'm going to have to space those out quite a bit more so that the kayak doesn't roll when it's strapped down. But initially, we just want to get this on there and uh, see exactly how big we need to make those spaces and whether we need to nip another piece off the end and redrill that. But We'll find that out in a minute. Okay, so I guess you can get the idea from that. The canoe is meant to roll up on that. And another set which will be further up there. Not quite sure how far up yet. We'll just have to see how long the kayak is and where it'll sit best. And the next bit is to work out how wide I need to make those wheels. So I guess you get the general idea here. And the coat rolls up onto those, and then you tie it down. And we have the light board come over the top at the back here, which I will show you when we get to that stage. 
so I'm not quite there yet I've got to get the spaces done but uh, I've got to admit that went up really really well I think it'll sit on there quite nicely the slightly wider stance of the wheels isn't going to be a real problem and you can see how the light board works you have those long arms and that gets held up in the air so what I've replaced here is the front roller and the rear roller that you can see where are we down there and the two skids so they all come out these ones plug straight in and of course you have these spring loaded pins in the mangrove jack so there's no undoing bolts no tools needed very very simple and that's pretty well the job done apart from just fiddly bits now I just have to get these wheels spaced properly but you can see how that works under there I think those front ones will be pretty good I just have to adjust those and get those spaced nicely and uh, then I'll lop the end off that bit there this one can be a bit smaller this one the front one can be a bit more narrow than the rear one and I don't have to move this support forward I thought I might but there's plenty of room so I don't have to worry about that now I've also got the kayak wheels on here at the moment I haven't taken those off but you can see how this works once you've got the kayak up then these the wheels will come off and you tie it all down I think the rear wheels are okay that's pretty stable it sits up fairly high on the sides of the kayak here but it's not outside it's not going to slip through it and I think they're going to sit quite nicely once it's all tied down so last job for this will be to get those spaces which I'll do in the next couple of days and uh, that'll be that and I'll do one last bit of footage showing you how it comes on and off and this is basically the finished product now you can see the spacers are in that's to stop the wheels sliding across not entirely happy with those pins I think at some stage that might slip off it's right close to the edge maybe they're okay but I may put some split pins in there just to make sure those wheels don't ever manage to come off some split pins I think might be a better idea for that now because I don't have to remove these all you have to do to change this back to a standard trailer is flick that pin out and replace the whole unit with this one which is the original as you can see there's the original here is the piece made up for the kayak so they're interchangeable I don't have to worry now if you wanted to save money you could take the bolts off these enlarge the hole on there and do the same thing but I prefer to have two separate pieces makes it a lot easier I don't have to muck around with this piece at all just clip one on clip the other one off and uh, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt as uh, the old folks say same setup on the back here just the wheels are a little bit wider that just gives it a bit more stability and uh, now we'll just have a look at uh, winding it up I think you can see just how easily that slid straight on so uh, once that's on it's just a matter of putting some ratchet straps over the top I think possibly something to connect the front here maybe just as much as the rope onto this just to make sure if anything goes wrong she's not going to slide off backwards and I think that's it I don't think there's really anything more I need to do to it and so that's basically the finished job very simple to do did it all in the space of a morning uh, we'll keep those wheels up out of the salt water I'm not going to launch it into salt 
they're not uh, really made for that. If you buy the wheels from Mangrove Jack, you get the ones that uh, are more suited. They have uh, proper corrosion resistant wheels, uh, made out of nylon, I think, from memory. Of course, if you want to buy the whole kit, you can get the whole thing from Mangrove Jack. That will save you from doing any work yourself. But uh, I do like to fiddle around with things occasionally, and that was a bit of fun this morning, just getting it working, getting it the right size, and making sure everything went the way I wanted it to. Well, that's it for this video, and uh, if you got something out of it and enjoyed it a bit, then uh, please give us a like below. That all helps with the algorithm, and uh, we get noticed just a little tiny bit more. That's it for now, guys. See you later. Cheers.